Hey developers, stop using select constar for counting rows in your genetic tables. Welcome to today's video, I'm Chi Wang. Introduce the first episode of our new series, Developer Tips. This series is all about dishing out simple nugget for knowledge of developers, a kind of thought. Get ready to tackle a new mini challenge every day. Today, we are facing a painful real issue. Why does using select constar on the large MySQL table makes your database slow as a Sunday driver hogging the fast lane? Remember, we are talking about InnoDB here. My ISM doesn't even support transactions, so we won't consider it. Let's dive into action. Here is a server of 8 cores and 16 gigabyte memory with 200 million data rows in MySQL. Let's say what happens when we run this query. <laughs> You're really going hard on your database. It's like you are not just using it, but rather be mean to it, you know. Ever face the harsh reality? Picture this. You're running select constar on a huge MySQL table, and boom, your CPU maxed out. Ever wondered why? Why can't InnoDB just give us a simple feature to count the whole table? Let me break it down for you. So why does this happen? It's all because of InnoDB's default transaction isolation level, repeatable rate. What is repeatable rate? Let me give you an example. Imagine our database has two records. Let's call them 1 and 2. User 1 starts the session and asks the database, how many records do we have? The database replies, two records. No surprise here. Now enter user 2. They kick off their session and ask the same thing. How many records do we have? And again, the database says, two records. All good so far? But here's where it's get interesting. User 1 tells the database, add a record 3. The database is like, root that and add record 3. Then, user 1 asks, how many records do we have now? The database answers, 3 records. Makes sense, right? Because user 1 just added a new record. But when user 2 asks, how many records do we have now? The database still tells them 2 records. Surprise? This quirky situation happens because of how transaction isolation works in databases. The idea is to keep you from being affected by changes made by others. But here is the downside. At the same time, different users might see different results from their queries. It's like everyone's in their own little bubble, not seeing the latest updates others have made. Because of this, you cannot just rely on a single number to store the result of select constar. Plus, MySQL does try some optimizations for select constar, like prioritizing less costly indexes like a secondary index or even a non-null secondary index. But hey, skipping row count is an option, is it? Database got counts them one by one. Need to handle pagination or maybe you're just curious about total count. Well, guess what? There are some clever tricks to give your MySQL a new lease on life. Let's start with the first one, Radius. Radius could be your best buddy. Many use it as a catch, swiftly handling your counting tasks. Here's a cool hack. Whenever you insert or delete data, just tweak the count in radius, at one or subject one. But there is a catch. You could set it up to auto update when data changes or keep an eye on MySQL bin log for any new updates. This trick lets you dodge those pricey select constar queries. You were just reading and writing to radius instead. However, here is the cheeky part, updating the cache, no matter when you do it. Before or after you write into the database, you risk having your cache and database data not matching up. 
But hey, no stress. We are gearing up to dive into some super practical catching strategies in our upcoming videos. Smash the subscribe button to stay tuned, and let us know in the comments if you are keen to learn more. To solve catch inconsistencies, let's now explore the transactional method. Transactions are like invisible blocks in a database. Combine row additions or deletions with account increases or decreases into a single unit. Transactions, they are like developers' best buddy. But heads up, they are still pretty handsome. In simple words, you've got to roll up your sleeves and write some code for those updates. Start a transaction, update records, adjust the row counter for corresponding table, and then close the transaction. Very annoying, right? Finally, if your data volume is truly massive, perhaps it's time to switch a cooler database. Columnar database, you know, like ClickHouse, Amazon Redshift, or TidyV. Same basic idea as MySQL's Select Constar, but here is a cool part. They are all about column storage, which is just perfect for this kind of calculations. Trust me, they work like magic. Switching to a columnar database, yeah, it takes initial effort at first, but it's worth it down the line. This database can manage massive records without bogging down, making them an insanely cool choice. In summary, if your table state volume isn't huge, you're fine however you use it. But using select constar on a massive MySQL table can be overwhelming. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you now understand how to enhance MySQL's performance. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks in the tech world. Bye, see you next time.